What's up guys, I got a new drum set to review today. This is the Van Goa VED B10. You can get it from Amazon for about $210. Now Van Goa sent this drum set to me so I can review it for them. And this is a starter line drum set. It's not like the Elisa Strike Pro that I have behind me, which is like 20 times the price. So uh, this is definitely for like beginners or maybe drummers that don't have access to their acoustic kit all day. So they want a spare electric kit to practice on inside the house or something that won't bother everybody. So let's check this drum set out and see what we got. All right, so bear with me. I'm just using the microphone on my phone. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Everything's nicely packed in here. We got our accessories. In here we got the, uh, you know, the AC adapter. We got our cables for each individual piece. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure we'll find out in a minute. And we got some Velcro straps. Now this is the module. It is very small. Oh uh, yeah, there's your module. So uh, it, it's pretty small. It's, it's really like the size of your cell phone, you know what I mean? We'll see how that works out in a minute. Now, this is the kick pedal. It does not come with a kick tower or anything like that. It's just going to be a pedal. Same thing as the hi-hat. Actually, they're both in here. So they're both the same thing. Both your hi-hat and your kick pedal are gonna be the same thing. So, so nothing too fancy there. It's really just your average, you know, spring-loaded kick pedal with the sensor built into it. That's pretty much it. So you get two of those. You don't need a kick pedal of your own, uh, which a lot of people will not like, but you know, for beginners that don't need to get all that extra equipment, this is fine just to get started on. All right, so I'm gonna kinda wanna assemble this as we go. So let's get with the big box. This is the drum stand, which I'm hoping this is the rack right here. All right, so we got some drumsticks in here. You know, ready to get started. You already got, got your kick pedals, you got your drumsticks, ready to go. Headphone, oh, it even comes with headphones. So uh, you're not bothering everybody. Now these are probably really cheap and uh, you know, you're gonna wanna get a replacement, but at least it comes with them for free. Might as well use them, right? And these are the cymbal arms. There's three of them, one for the hi-hat, two for the crashes. Pretty small, they're not like your standard ones. They just stick right into the rack and uh, yeah. They, there's no way to angle them any differently, I don't think. They just go into the rack, you put your cymbal on top, and you're good to go. Now these right here are the feet that you're gonna go at the bottom. I believe we're gonna rotate this up. Let me see, there should be a drum key in here somewhere. Yeah, I didn't see it, but if you go in your accessories box, there is a little bag with a drum kit, or a drum key in there. You even got some spare screws, spare nuts. Now with the feet, you want them facing down, so you're gonna unscrew this right here. And that should let you rotate that. And let's take this styrofoam off. I'm not sure where to put it yet, so I'm gonna just kind of slide it to the middle and we'll lock that down. Same thing with the other one, just uh, unlock this, rotate it to where it's facing up, because the other rack is gonna go into this, put that in the middle or something for now, and then lock it back down with the drum key. Now these are gonna be the arms where your uh, tom pads go onto, like your snare and your floor tom. So we'll hold off on these for a minute. All right, we got another arm right here. All right, so we got two main legs right here. Uh, the two beefy ones, these are gonna go into the feet. And then this is like the middle bar. It's gonna connect everything together. So let's put it all together and then uh, get the rack assembled right now. Now for the feet, you're just gonna loosen this screw right here. Uh, just a little bit, not all the way. Just enough to get the uh, this, this uh, stand in here. And there's two pegs on the inside of this, so line that up with these little slots you got right here. And, I don't know if you can get in there. All right, once you got it in there, you'll see it's not gonna rotate. Uh, go ahead and lock the foot down right here. Go ahead and lock this piece down on the, uh, the stand. There you go. Now we need the other one, so let's connect that one together. All right, fairly simple, right? So the one that has two joints on it, that's gonna go on your right side. The one that has three joints on it, that's gonna go on your left side. Go ahead and rotate this top one over to face the other side. Now you're gonna grab this one. This is gonna go in the middle of these two. So let me unlock this and slide all this stuff down. All right, now we're just gonna put this into this slot right here. Same thing, you're gonna loosen it up with the drum key. Just loosen that up. Then we're gonna insert this. Again, it's got those two little pegs, so you uh, line up these slots with it. 
that just prevents it from rotating. I guess we'll open this up a little more. Push it in there, and once it locks into those pegs, then you can lock this down. And you don't have to worry about that rotating on you or anything like that. Same thing with the other side. Let's lock that down. And I'm gonna set up the feet to where they're even and they're straight. All right, now that we got the feet parallel, I locked them down so they're nice and tight down there. They shouldn't rotate on us. Uh, now we got all these other pieces. So let's go ahead and move these accordingly. Now these are for the symbols right here. So we'll just slide this down all the way to the end. And this one's already pretty much there. I guess we'll put the, we'll put the, the, the slots for the symbol arms on the outside and we'll lock this down. Again, put that all the way at the end, lock this down. Now we have two slots for the toms and we have a slot for our module. The one that's straight should be for the module. These two are gonna be for the toms. We'll just uh, move these around for a minute. Now we're not gonna lock those down because we're gonna move those in a second. Now we have three slots over here. Uh, for the hi-hat, it's this middle bar right here. And for the snare, it's this bottom one. So this arm that has uh, another symbol holder, we're gonna move that into where the hi-hat's supposed to be. So let me unlock that. Let's rotate it. And we'll just have this sticking out to the left for now. Again, uh, unlock this and just put everything into the where the slots go into. All right, we got that in the slot, lock that down. We'll leave that alone for a minute. Now we'll grab these other two arms are the same. The, uh, one goes in this bottom slot and one goes over here. So let's go ahead and add those in. All right, so that's pretty much it for the rack. It's fairly easy to assemble. And then when you uh, wanna pack this thing up, you can rotate the uh, toms whichever way you need to. You can fold it all into one spot. That way you can easily store this thing. But let's go ahead and add all the rest of the drum pieces on and get this fully assembled. Now we're gonna open our first drum pad. Oh, it looks like we actually got two of them in here. Yes, we do, all right. All right, so these are your drum pads. They're just kind of like a, uh, a standard practice pad where they're silicone. So they're very quiet. That's gonna be great for people that don't want to uh, have too much noise with the product. So that's gonna be good. Um, they're seven inches, which is pretty funny that they're odd numbers instead of uh, even numbers. Like normally you get a six inch or eight inch or 10 inch, but these are seven inches. So that's pretty, that's pretty uh, unique. And again, we got another set of drum pads. Again, they're all the same thing. They're all seven inch pads. So all four of them are the same. You can mix and match them. It doesn't really matter because they're all, they're all the same. Now let's go ahead and just throw these on the rack real quick so we can get them out of the way. Very easy. Again, you're just gonna unlock these little slots right here. And you got four of them, one, two, three, four. Just go ahead and insert the uh, toms into each one of those. All right, I got all four pads on here. I'm gonna move this down a little bit to make it feel kind of even with the snare drum over here and like a real floor tom. One thing I forgot to do is lock down these corners. That's why the feet are moving down there. All right, next step, we're gonna put the cymbal arms on. All you gotta do is uh, unlock your little slot right here. I will say the drum key is kind of hitting the arm or the rack itself. That's a little annoying, but it's all right. We can go ahead and uh, loosen that up just a little bit. You can put these as high or as low as you want them and uh, lock it down after that. Same thing with these other two. I just noticed this, but one of them is straight and the other two are uh, angled a little bit. So the angled ones are gonna be your crash symbols, which are gonna go right here. Your, uh, your straight one's gonna be the hi-hat that goes on the arm by itself. Go ahead and try to get these two as even as possible. And then lock it down. All right, so we got our cymbal arms in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get the cymbals out and put these on the arms drum stool surface. So I actually didn't know that this came with a, uh, a drum throne, but it does. So now you got everything you need to play. You got your headphones, you got a seat, you got sticks, you got pedals. Um, everything that's needed to play is right here. Now, if you're a bigger guy like, my, like myself, then uh, you probably don't want to be using this drum throne. It is rather small. I'm going to stick to my Tama first chair over there, but just so you know, this drum throne does come with it. All you gotta do is take the part, the top part out of the box. Then you open up the drum stool bracket. This is easy to put together. All you gotta do is open these legs up like that. Uh, lock this down so that the legs stay open. If you wanna adjust the height, all you have to do is uh, unscrew this wing nut right here and then take this screw out and put it into whatever slot you need to. Uh, the higher the slot, the, the uh, lower the drum throne. The lower the slot, the higher the drum throne. 
This just goes right into here and sits in there. So what you'll do is unscrew the wing nut until this uh, square screw drops into the slot. And then you have a washer, make sure that's on the outside and then screw this clamp or clamp it down, screw it in, clamp it down. That way this doesn't move. Grab your drum throne, uh, the seat, and then just put it right here on top. And then there's a little, you know, wing nut right here. You just tighten that down and you're good to go. You got a drum throne. That's awesome that it comes with it. A lot of drum sets don't come with the drum throne. So you got to end up buying one anyways, but this is cool. You got one. Uh, you, you're definitely going to want to upgrade later, but at least it comes with one with sticks, pedals, everything you need. All right, last but not least, let's put these symbols on. All right, so something interesting about the uh, the symbols is that they, they come with um, cables built into them. I've never seen that before. Um, usually you just have a cable sink that connects the toms, uh, the symbols and everything to the rest of the module. Um, but they actually have the cables built in, so that's that's interesting. Now these symbols, they're only rubber right here. This is this part where you want to strike them at. So if they start turning on you, you make sure you want to turn it back or just lock them down so they don't rotate on you. Um, because none of this is triggered over here. The only part that's actually going to receive or make a sound is when you hit this rubber part. So make sure you're always hitting this part of it. All right, we're almost done. Now we just got to put these symbols on their slots. So unscrew the uh, the symbol arms. They have little pegs right here. That'll keep the uh, the symbols from rotating. So you make sure they go into that slot right here at the bottom. Perfect. And then you just lock it down with this wing, this screw. You don't have to lock them down super tight. Just tight enough to where they don't uh, go flying off the the pegs or anything like that. Now this straight one right here. Make sure you uh, because it doesn't have a bend on it. You can't really tell which way it's facing. Make sure these pegs are pointed towards you. That way the, the rubber part of the symbol is also pointed towards you. So we'll just rotate that like that. Now the only thing we gotta do is add the module and connect all the uh, wiring together, put the pedals down. So let's get into that. But this is fairly easy to put together. Anyone can really put it together. If you need help, there's an owner's manual in there. Definitely check that out. If you go into your accessories, there is a little peg right here with the Velcro straps. That's gonna be where your module locks into the, uh, the stand. So let's go ahead and get that out, this little piece right here. That just slides right into the back of the module uh, from the bottom. So we'll just slide it in there just like that, it locks into place. You can push this little tab in there, it'll unlock it. Speaking of the module, we got a USB connector, which if you guys want to use like a, uh, a plug-in on your computer, you can definitely use that with your DAW. We got the DC on here. Uh, we got power on and off switch. We got phone output and auxiliary in. So if you want to play covers, you can definitely do that. That'd be really nice for our practicing. You can put your headphones here, but if you have some small speakers or something, you can also use those with this. So that way you don't have to hear your headphones. You can hear them in little speakers, like computer speakers or something like that. This is going to be like the same thing. Just stick it in here and lock it in. All right. We got it in the slot. Let's go ahead and lock this down. There we go. We got the, the brain in there. All right. So now we're going to install the, the cables for each of the tom pads and the kick drum and the hi-hat pedal. Each of these, um, each of these cables have a label on them. So the kick will go to the kick pedal and you got your toms that are, you know, they're all color coded and labeled. So you just place them where you need to. Obviously this is going to be your snare. You got Tom one, Tom two, Tom three and then the two pedals on the floor. All right, so this right here, the, where it all connects to, um, it just goes on the back of the module. You're gonna plug that in and then use these screws on the side to screw it into place. That way the cable doesn't get yanked out while you're playing or moving it. There you go, that ain't going nowhere. I was wondering where the symbols went. They actually have three little ports on the side right here. Now the symbols, they go into the side right here. On the front of the module, it tells you ride, crash, and hi-hat. This is going to be your hi-hat, this is your crash, and this is your ride. So just plug them in accordingly. Sorry guys, my camera died, but um, all you got to do is plug the cables into the corresponding parts. You know, this is your snare, one tom, two tom, three tom, uh, crash, ride, hi-hat, and then your two pedals, the hi-hat pedals on the left, the kick pedals on the right, and then just plug your uh, DC adapter in, and you're good to go. Then you would plug your headphones into the phone out on here. Or if you want to use speakers, again, you can just use like an auxiliary cable like I'm using right now. Um, that is going into my iRig Stream Pro over here. So 
That way you're able to hear like my microphone and you're able to hear what's actually coming out of the drums. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna run through a couple of these, uh, the kits that are in here so we can hear what the drums actually sound like.
right, so overall, it's not a bad kit. It's much better than some uh, $200 drum set you would have got like 10 years ago. I don't even think they had electronic drum sets that cheap back then. But the pads feel really responsive. They feel really nice. It's just like playing on a practice, you know, snare pad. The sounds are what you would expect out of a $200 module. As a matter of fact, the module pretty much just has uh, 15 different sets. It has a metronome and it has a couple practice songs to it. Which I thought that second song was really that sh that shit was bumping, man. I I was like actually listening listening to it and jamming to it. I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't really care for the songs that come on modules, anyways. But overall, I thought it was a nice practice kit, especially if you're a beginner. I think it's got um, everything you need with it. You know, the throne, the sticks, the pedals. It's got the headphones with it, and the headphones aren't that great. I tried them out, but I was like, you know what? Let me just use my in-ear monitors because I got them. But overall, from you know comparing them to things I've played in the past, these are much better build quality. The sound is a little bit better than what I'm used to hearing. So overall, it's not really that bad. You know, $200, this is what you get for it. I think it's a really good practice kit if you're like, you know, you got low storage and you just need something to uh, smack around to do some like rudiment practices on or something like that. I think it'll work just fine. You can also put up your own kick tower into it. So if I wanted to, I could use the uh, the kick drum of my Elisa Strike Pro onto it if I w really wanted to. But why would I do that when I have an Elisa Strike Pro? But anyways, um, you can change it out so you're not just using the pedal on the floor. You can actually use your own pedal with a, a different kick tower if you want to. Overall, not bad. I'm just really impressed that drum sets have, uh, have changed so much over the years to where even a $200 drum set is quality like this and better than I expected, so. Kudos to you guys over at Van Goa, and thank you so much for letting me, uh, you know, review this kit. I think it's a pretty good deal for 200 bucks, so. If you're interested in the kit and you wanna look at it, go check out the link in the description below. I think it was unavailable at the time I'm making this video, but it'll be back up in stock pretty soon from what they've told me. But yeah, pretty decent practice kit. Go check it out if you're interested in that thing, if you need something small um, to practice in inside the house when you can't practice your acoustic kit. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.